Um, hello, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us this morning or this afternoon or this evening, depending on where you're located, to talk about how we can better engage employees by delivering HR service excellence. During our time together today, we'll be exploring how human resource organizations are transforming themselves as they seek to improve engagement in both employees and also with service representatives through improved service delivery. HR operations play a critical role in any organization. Employees turn to HR to get information, to ask questions, ask for assistance in resolving issues, and in turn, HR has historically relied on many disjointed resources to provide guidance and answer questions. They've relied on things like guides, spreadsheets, uh, policies, scripts, experts with knowledge in their head, post-it notes, you name it. That's generally what our HR professionals have relied on in order to provide this service to their employees. Traditionally, the solutions that have been utilized by, by HR to help log, manage, and resolve these issues were not designed with HR in mind. So HR was focused to use things, uh, excuse me, forced to use things like IT-focused help desk systems, telephone call logs, spreadsheets, document repositories, and email in order to track and manage and resolve employee issues. So all of that is about to change. Employee Central Service Center was designed specifically to solve the unique needs of the HR line of business and HR shared services. So let's see how. I'm going to pause on the disclaimer for just a second and, and note that um, in the middle sentence, the information in this document is not a commitment, pro promise, or legal obligation to deliver any material code or functionality. Uh, this is something that we, we need to put in front of you, and I'll take just a second to let you peruse through that real quick. So today's employees have greater expectations than ever before. They want what they want, and they want it now. They're more open to change, but only when that change is not going to introduce new difficulty and is not going to add work to their, their already somewhat overloaded work schedules. They're also more empowered, but on the flip side, they're also more willing to leave if their needs aren't being met. Employees also want to be able to focus on their work, and they're expected to do more with less. As a result, they expect quick and easy resolution to HR issues so that they can remain focused on their work. Sorry, um, my, my screen is, is flashing here. Um, they expect that HR service agents, when, they contact the, when employees contact HR service agents with questions, they expect those agents to be proactive. They expect HR service agents to be better informed than they are and to stay one step ahead of them. They also expect the HR service agents to be easily accessible and they want to communicate via their preferred channels. So employees don't want to have to learn a new tool in order to communicate their questions or their, their issues to, to HR. They want HR to be responsive to their in inquiries and they would like HR to be agile and timely in their responses. They want prompt attention to their service issues, resulting in accurate, up-to-date resolutions or responses. If they don't get these things, one potential risk is that employees who are not going to feel engaged in their work, possibly because they feel unsupported or uncared for in the organization. Uh, a delayed resolution and antiquated tools lead to a poor use of time, um, low productivity, overworking of employees. So if you could transform your employee HR service experience into a repeatable, positive experiences, not only can you make a positive impact on, the, on your employee engagement, but also increase your employee satisfaction and retention by removing clutter and confusion and allowing your employees to focus on their work. HR executives are, are not new to this issue. They realize the benefit and the importance of a good employee HR interactions, and many HR executives worldwide recognize that improvements in HR, uh, HR service solutions are going to be crucial into creating an engaged workforce of satisfied, high productive, high performers. They also understand that service excellence is going to help them to achieve this. So let's take just one step back before we get into how Employee Central Service Center can help you drive 
employee engagement, satisfaction, productivity, and performance, let's take just a second to establish what we mean by shared services. So when we're talking about shared services, we're referring to a dedicated unit including people, processes, and technologies that is structured as a centralized point of service and is focused on defined business functions. These functions have traditionally been supported by HR and IT services for multiple business units within the enterprise. Shared services may come from several different physical locations and may involve a number of, human, of, of business functions and HR processes. So what is necessary to achieve this utopia of shared services or service excellence? One key element is process standardization. According to experts, process standardiz standardization contributes greatly to business, business alignment, productivity, efficiency, scalability, sustainability, and governance within organizations. You need great tools that are flexible and agile to help you to, to support your process standardization. Of course, cost, cost reduction is also an important factor. Integrated technology like Employee Central Service Center can go a long way to helping you achieve both the process standardization that you need and the cost, and the cost reduction that you seek by streaming, streamlining processes and systems and eliminating the cost of maintaining and updating antiquated disjointed hardware and software technology. Humans, uh, but humans can only do so much. So without the proper technology backing them up, uh, humans are still going to lag in their response times and their ability to deliver service excellence. So what I mean by this is you may already have a team of HR service agents or HR service reps who can address and resolve issues but who are unable to do so in an efficient manner because of disconnected systems, um, because they, they're having to use different types of, of technologies in order to ultimately provide an answer to employees. What's more is that the antiquated systems don't allow for any collaboration and knowledge sharing among your human resources services agents, and this can lead to even greater inefficiencies. Employees expect to receive efficient, seemingly effortless, personalized service from the HR reps that they interact with. Therefore, in order to accomplish this, service agents need access to an employee's profile, they need knowledge of the employee's current situation, and also information about prior inquiries and interaction. Service agents need access to a knowledge management delivered on demand and across communication channels and touch points with context-sensitive search capabilities and something that's available 24-7. Service agents also need the ability to collaborate with sub subject matter experts across the HR organization to increase things like first contact resolution rates and to help increase the knowledge of other service agencies and employees within the organization. And to measure progress and success, managers need insight. They need operational insight. Uh, employees are, employees Central Service Center provides managers with concise, easy to implement, easy to interpret me metrics to any device so that they're empowered with the information that they need to help make decisions and drive engagement. Uh, they also have the tools that they, that they need in order to acknowledge outstanding performance, become involved in escalations, and to course correct if necessary. So in summary, there are a number of key ingredients to deliver a delightful service experience to your employees. With those key ingredients in place, employee shared services can begin to be thought of as an organization that is going to embolden employees and lead to higher degrees of employee loyalty and satisfaction and the su successful execution of business strategies and goals. Employee Central Service Center is the tool that's going to help you to achieve your employee shared services utopia by providing agents with immediate secure access to employee data from a single system, by providing employees with easier access to answers to their common HR questions and multiple options to communicate with HR, and also by providing agents with an integrated tool giving them access to both employee information and help desk data to improve the overall service experience. 
I wanted to just take a quick peek at our infrastructure supporting the notion that a seamlessly unified system is not only desirable, but also possible. So speaking of in infrastructure and systems, uh, I wanted to take a look at the old way of addressing issues just to try and, and, and put some context around what we're going to be uh, seeing in the demo and what we're going to be discussing for the rest of the day. So in old systems, generally speaking, HR service reps had to have a lot of different systems open. As you can see down the side here, um, HR service agents had to have access to a ticketing system. They had to have access to the global system of record access to knowledge bases. They have to have knowledge about uh, electronic policies or paper policies. Generally speaking, when responding to issues, the agent needs to have Outlook open so that they can communicate back to the employee. And then beyond sort of issue resolution, generally speaking, HR organizations are using things like Excel and PowerPoint in order to log information about what it took to resolve the service issue that was raised, the amount of time it took to resolve the service issue that was, raged, that was raised so that they could then report on how they were doing as an organization. So when a ticket comes into an HR system, and bear with me as this builds out, a ticket comes into an HR organization, it can come in currently usually from a few channels. It could be a, a, maybe a, a chat message that comes into your HR service organization, an email that comes to your HR service organization, or perhaps a telephone call. Once the HR service agent received the, the phone call, the email, or the instant message uh, chat from the employee, it, the agent was then responsible for looking up that employee in the HR system or in the global system of record. Then the HR service agent needs to open up the ticketing system so that they can log the issue that's being raised by the employee. What's happening next is the agent is attempting to resolve that issue. So um, generally speaking, the agent will now leave the ticketing system, go search a knowledge base, or maybe a SharePoint site that has documents with um, electronic documents on there, or, or maybe even a filing cabinet to look for a policy-based um, resolution to issues. And as you can see along the bottom here, you can see the time that's ticking away as we're doing this. Once the agent finds the appropriate response to the issue that was raised, now they need to communicate that, that resolution back to the employee that raised the issue. So this is generally um, involving something like email or maybe a phone call back to the individual, maybe they're sending a document, or directing that employee to a SharePoint site. At this point, the service agent um, Provided we have resolution to the, to, the, to the issue that was raised, the service agent then navigates back to the ticketing system so that they can close the ticket. They then update the, the resolution in the global system of record. And now they need to input information into an Excel, Excel spreadsheet or perhaps a PowerPoint for reporting and presentation purposes. So the total time spent in order to um, acknowledge, open, research, and resolve this issue is 10 minutes based on traditional systems. Uh, th this may vary a bit, but we actually went out and did the, um, the, the groundwork to see using traditional methods of addressing issues through a, uh, an HR shared services organization, this is generally the amount of time that was spent. And I will tell you that the research that we did involved, uh, the research that we did to come up with these numbers involved an employee who was phoning in to say that um, his wife had had a baby. So think about this, that employee is likely on the phone for these 10 minutes or at least waiting for these 10 minutes to get resolution to, my wife has had a baby, can we update this in the system, how do I take my time off? So this is time that that person is spending away from their new family to work on HR to work with HR on necessary processes. And um, he's, he's been gone from his wife and his baby for a good 10 minutes here. So with Employee Central Service, with the Employee Central Service Center solution, the agent's desktop turns from clutter into cleanness. 
And from a process, process perspective, the shared service employee is basically working from one consistent application. All of the necessary background updates and updates are facilitated by the delivery infrastructure. And let's see how long it takes to get it, an issue resolved using Employee Central Service Center. So again, we receive the um, communication from the employee that's raised an issue. We can receive communication through um, a, a, an employee creating a ticket that they can create directly from SuccessFactors. The employee could make a phone call. The employee um, could also send an email to the Shared Services Help Desk in order to, to raise this ticket. Once the agent receives that ticket, they're already logged into the Employee Central Service Center, and they know immediately who that employee is. So if I need to know what country this employee sits in in order to provide him with the proper guidance, I already know that. I've got access to that from Employee Central Service Center. So I realize this may be a little bit hard to see, but you can see that these are dotted lines here. So next, I need to, um, after I've verified the identity of the caller, I need to begin, I need to create the ticket, which I'm going to do directly from the Employee Central Service Center. And then I can begin to, not, to research the employee's issue so that I can provide him with a resolution. Again, all of this is done directly from within the tool. I can then send my response with the resolution back to the employee through any communications channel they prefer and I can close the ticket. When I close the ticket, the back-end system is updated as well as Employee Central, and the total elapsed time here was four minutes. So I think that you can see how using a, a single system um, or a single source of truth is really going to help reduce the time that an HR service agent needs to spend in getting an issue resolved. So this is going to lead to greater satisfaction for, for both people that were involved with this issue, for the HR service agent and then also for, for the man who wants to get back to his, his new baby and his family. So Employee Central Service Center, we're about to enter into the demo here. The Employee Central Service Center offers you a great user experience, one that's easy to use. It's consumer grade, and it allows you to not only input data efficiently, but also to get data out of the tool efficiently. We support multi-channel services via email, phone, and this is a CTI integration. This is, is something that's coming from us is to be able to support um, identification through voice over IP tele uh, telephony. Also, there's a, a web service self-portal which is accessible from direct, directly within Employee Central. And then we can also engage with chat. And we have a partner, uh, Snap Engage, that will allow us to um, engage via integrated chat sessions. And then we also provide the analytics that are needed in order to evaluate how we're doing in our service responses, allow human resources as an organization to see are, are we creating value through using this tool? Are we allowing employees to be more focused on their job, to be better engaged, to become more satisfied and more loyal to us based on the fact that we are giving them quick and easy resolutions to their HR issues? And I think that, so here's just some, some takeaways to, to remember before we enter into the demo. And, and first, uh, Employee Central Service Center is a seamlessly unified solution that is going to meet your needs not only uh, for your global system of record, but also for your HR service organization. It was designed with human resources service organizations in mind, so it is going to be different and more integrated than using something like a, a ticketing tool that was designed for IT. Employee Central Service Center was also designed for all employees in mind. So it was designed to let um, non-HR employees have access to solutions to their common questions. And it was designed for service agents to be able to quickly address service issues from within a single tool and not have to run around all over the place trying to come up with resolution and to communicate that back to the employee. And then finally, of course, it leverages employee central, employee central data, so I've got all of that information that I need about my employees at my fingertips. So with that, we're going to get into, um, get into the demo. 
So I'm going to pause just for a quick second while I set up my, my demo and, and share my screen. So right now, I don't know if there are any questions that have come in, but this might be a good time to try to look at a couple of those questions while I get this set up. We have no questions at the moment, but we'll we'll hang on here while you get the, okay. the background set up. And we'll just hang on. Okay. Oh, here we've got a couple of questions coming in now. Oh, okay, great. Uh, typically, what size organization would utilize something like this? So I don't know if um, Debbie or Andreas, if you want to, to take that, that question or you'd like me to do it. Um, this is Debbie. Can you hear me? <laughs> normally, um, this yeah. is designed for normally companies with um, 5,000 employees and above are the size of the organization that we see having the most benefit uh, from uh, Employee Central Service Center. Great. And another question, can you have a separate answer search for HR employees only? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Sure. Can you have a separate answer search for HR employees only? So for if uh, an HR so for an HR person or or an HR representative, if they're going to be doing a search they may be doing it in within as the representative, um, and they would have access to uh, more tools <clears throat> on that side. I'm not sure if I understand the question completely. Well, if that person wants to write a little more detail, and maybe yeah. we can get to it later. But it looks like we're set up for demo. So, mm -hmm. Kelly, are you ready to go ahead? Yeah, I am. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for confirming Great. that and you can see the screen. No problem. And, and to the audience, we will definitely be getting to the rest of your questions at the end of our webinar today. So please ask those great questions. And Kelly, back to you. Okay. Thank you so much. So in order to, to kick off the demo, um, I wanted to show you some uh, of what Employee Central Service Center looks like from an employee side, and then we'll jump into the uh, HR service agent side. So all of this should look familiar to you. I'm logged into this instance as Emily Clark. and. Um, Emily wants to take some PTO. So this shouldn't be uh, news to you. In order to take PTO, two clicks. And Emily navigates out to where her PTO accrual is. But lo and behold, this looks really, really wrong to me as Emily. I, I know that I am accruing days off, and the fact that I have no days off accrued here is concerning to me, especially when I've got my big trip to Hawaii planned. So in order to address this, I simply click on the Ask HR link, and I'm going to be greeted with, with, uh, with this. Sorry, I'm just, there is some, um, I'm going to be greeted with this. And this isn't going to come up with a header or a footer. I've got an a, a issue with my Firefox, uh, with my Chrome browser here. So I'm trying to take PTO, and I'm, I'm unable to take it. I want to go out and create a new ticket to ask HR what's going on with my PTO accrual. But before I do that, there's a couple of things that I wanted to, to share with you here. So as an employee, with the one click of the Ask HR button, and I'll show you that one more time, the Ask HR button, this is going to appear anywhere in the solution, regardless of which uh, solution area you're currently in, regardless of which page you are, that link will be there. And that will take you to a page that, that looks like this. If I wanted a fast answer to my question, so let's say I want to know about the company credit card. I've got access to the knowledge base tool here that I can search as an employee, and immediately I'm, I'm returned with information that's in the knowledge base. And if I hover over that, I can get a quick overview of, of the content of, of this particular document in the knowledge base so that I don't have to waste my time reading through document after document to get to what, what, I'm, what I'm looking for. So for self-service purposes, I've got access to a knowledge base that is going to be um, created and maintained by human resources or whoever you designate in the organization. 
I can also view a list of phone numbers. You'll see when this comes up, this is, is phone numbers that I may need to have on hand in case I need to call somebody to enter in uh, to, to speak to somebody about the, the service issue that I'm currently having. In addition to that, I could also send an email to the uh, shared services organization if I want to, but I'm just going to create a new ticket because I've got access to do that as well. <clears throat> so again here, with one click, I'm, I'm greeted with the Create New Ticket screen, and I'm going to raise a ticket about my accruals. If I could type, that would help. <clears throat> Enter in some information about the ticket. And that's all I need to do. Um, and you can see the required fields here. This is uh, in configurable in your organization. So if you wanted to make more fields or fewer fields required, you could do that. I just hit submit, and my ticket is sent over to the shared services desk, and, and I didn't have to do anything else. I can also as an employee, look to see if my ticket's being addressed. So I can see that I currently have 46 open tickets. I can see how many tickets need confirmation. Um, I got a lot of open tickets out here. But I just want to make sure that the ticket I just opened made it over there, and it did. So I can see that that ticket is right here. If while I'm here I want to check on the status of other tickets, I can filter them as an employee so I can I can say I only want to see the high priority tickets, or maybe I only want to see the tickets that nothing's been, um, nothing's been done on yet. And I can easily navigate to that information as well. So this ticket has been opened with the service desk, and what I want to do now is navigate over to the service desk so you can see what this would look like from a shared services agent point of view. So now I am going to log into Employee Central Service Center. You'll see that the view is going to look a little bit different. This is the, the integration, the, excuse me, I came in with the wrong link, I apologize. So now I'm logging in to Employee Central Service Center as a, a, a lead on the shared services team, and that lead's name is Jane Heller. And you'll see that this is going to look a little bit different from your, the regular Employee Central view that you see. And the reason why it looks a little bit different is because this is Employee Central Service Center. So when I log, this is what an agent would see when they log in. Just going to get a view of a little bit more tickets, and I'm going to select to, to view all tickets out here, and you'll be able to see them. But I can see that I can see the ticket raised by Emily Clark today, so that is um, it's on my list. And here are, are some of the other tickets that are, are currently in the uh, in the queue. They don't necessarily belong to me, but they're in the queue. So notice that there are many ways for me to organize information that's being presented to me. I can look through the employee support, which is going to show me tickets. I can look under the people tab, which is going to show me employees or groups of employees, and also under activities. So if I need to quickly know what appointments do I have today, what emails or phone calls do I need to address today, I can easily organize that information in that way as well. Along the left-hand side, I also have quick link access to tools that I need in order to search for information. If I need to post an update to an existing ticket, I can do that here. 
Also, if I've got new notifications, I can view them from a, a single location. If I want to create a new appointment, I've got access to do that. If I've got a new, new, a new phone call that I want to make through the integrated system, I can do that as well. I can also create myself new tasks or look at any existing tasks, and I can create a new ticket either for myself or on behalf of the employees. So this create new ticket is generally not something that we're going to expose to employees in the organization. Employees in the organization are going to create new tickets based on what I showed you when I was logged in as Emily Clark. They're going to use that Ask HR link in order to create new tickets. But let's suppose that Emily called me instead of going through the Ask HR link to create her own ticket. In that case, I can simply take down her information, PTO accrual, and I can write a brief description to her issue, and I can go out and search for her so that I understand who I need to address when I come up with a resolution to this issue. And again, because the system is in integrated, I can see all that information from right here. I just save this ticket, and it will automatically be opened. I'm going to go ahead and cancel because we've already got a ticket that, that's open for Emily. So back in my service queue here, when I hover over a ticket, you can see information about it. So this is a really good way for me to get quick, to the point information about existing tickets without having to open up each of these tickets one by one and drill into them. So with this, I can see um, who this is assigned to. I can see what the topic of the, t of the ticket is, and I can also see the, the priority and the status of the ticket. For each agent that's going to be working tickets in Employee Central Service Center, I have the ability to personalize this. So if I would like to see more or less information um, based on who I am in the organization, I can go ahead and customize that from here. In addition to looking at information about an open ticket, I can also look at information about who reported the tickets, again, with just a hover over. So I can see Raju's name. Whoops, sorry, that went away pretty quickly. I can see the name of the person who reported the ticket, and I can also um, see their contact information so that I can get in touch with them very quickly. To help manage my day, I can organize these tickets in any way that, that is going to be helpful to me. So I can begin to, to filter t tickets based on priority or status or source. I can also use more advanced filters to further narrow the information or even expand the information that I'm seeing um, in the queue. I also have visibility into how did the um, ticket come into the queue. So did it come in by manual data entry? This would be like I showed you before, um, me opening a ticket for an individual. Did it come in through email? Did it come in through internet? This would be coming in through the Ask HR link. So I have visibility into the way that a ticket came in, and that might act as sort of a, a trigger for me to how I should respond to this ticket. Should I actually call somebody if they called me? Again, just that flexibility with the communication channels that we offer with Employee Central Service Center. I also have the ability to take action on tickets in bulk. So if I just grab a few of these out here. If all of these tickets are related to one another, or maybe they all need to be escalated, or maybe I need to add a note. Maybe I've got a service agent who is currently assigned these tickets who's going to be out of town, and I need to um, reassign these to somebody else. I can take that action on the items in bulk. So let's take a look at some of, these, um, some of the details on these tickets. I'm just going to go ahead and sort this again. And I think that I may have lost my internet connection. I'm just going to refresh the screen real quick. Let's get a few more tickets out here. Well, actually, let, let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and search on a ticket that I know I need to work on. So just knowing the ticket number, I can search on that, or there are several other things I can, I can also search on, such as the name of the employee, the subject of the ticket. But I know I want to work on 4131, and I can just access that ticket directly from here. 
So you can see when I open the ticket, I've got information about the employee who submitted the ticket to me. Uh, all of this information was automatically populated based on the, the integration of the tool with Employee Central. So I don't have to go and spend additional time looking up the, the, this person. You can see here that the request that came in from Raji is she needs a visa. So again, at my fingertips, I've got access to information about Raji. I need to know probably where she lives currently and where she needs a visa to in order to provide her with the correct type of information. So I've got all of that at my fingertips. I've also got a, a note or a list of all of the interactions that I've had with Raji about this particular open ticket um, up to this point. I can also add a note if I, if I need to update the ticket. <clears throat> We have access to the Solution Finder or the Knowledge Base from right here too. So I can easily search to see if there's maybe a document that, um, that I can come up with that might help to, to resolve Raji's issue. And from here, I can actually attach this to an email and send it back to Raji so that she has the information at, at her fingertips. The great thing about being able to do something like that is with our, um, one of our Knowledge Base partners, uh, MindTouch, I can have visibility into when Raji reads this document, and then we've also got the ability to, to comment on the document, whether it was helpful or not, and this is going to help us as an organization to make sure that we, we're putting out good content that's helping to resolve issues and that it's happening in a timely manner. So if I attach this to the email, you'd see that attachment show up in here. I could also attach any other documents. Maybe I've got something, a little Dilbert joke or something that I like to attach to all of my emails. Um, something that I keep on my hard drive, and I could also use templates. So if I'm consistently getting the same type of question over and over again, and I've crafted a really good response to that type of question, I can use a template here so I don't have to type in all of that information again. And those templates are stored within the system based on the service agent who is addressing the issue, so it makes it really easy for me to respond to this issue in a timely manner. Up in the top here, I can see more information about this particular ticket. I can see um, the status of the ticket, and I can change the status of the ticket um, when I'm ready to do so, and this is all configurable. I can see who the ticket is assigned to. I could easily also escalate this ticket if I needed to. The ticket has been tagged, so if I'm following certain tags or I want to be notified of a particular um, tag that's associated with a, uh, with a ticket, I can have access to that as well. And I also have access to things like sticky notes or flags to follow up on things. Um, I can mark this ticket as a favorite. So if this is something, again, that I find myself answering over and over again, or maybe I just want to put it out there as this is a favorite, and I want to share this knowledge with the other service agents in the organization so that we can begin to collaborate on how we're addressing these uh, issues that are raised by our, raised by our employees. I can also assign the ticket, and that is also very easy. This is configurable again, and because of the integration with Employee, Cent Employee Central, all I have to do is know the first few letters of the name that I, of the name of the person I want to assign this to, and their name appears in a list, and I can go ahead and assign the ticket that way. Um, when I'm ready to close the ticket, I would also just close the ticket right from here. I could also easily create an activity plan for this type of ticket or follow a checklist. So if I know that Raji is a current employee in the United States and she wants to go to China, but her nationality is actually, she's of, of Indian descent and she was born in India, I can have that checklist so that I understand all of the different steps that this particular employee needs to take or a particular employee of this type needs to take in order to, uh, in order to, to fulfill that request. So the last thing that I want to do is I want to um, look at this ticket from Emily. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So this is the ticket that was submitted earlier. And from here, I can add a note to uh, communicate back to Emily that I got her, her ticket, that I got her request, and I can just say, ticket has been opened. And in evaluating this ticket, I'm going to take first crack at it. And in evaluating this ticket, I know that we have recently made a change to our PTO accrual calculations within Employee Central. 
So if I suspect that maybe that's what's causing the issue, I can easily one click on Emily Clark's profile and I can see her employee central information. So this is information that I am permission to see. If I didn't have permission to see all of this information about this particular employee, I wouldn't see it. I would only see what I'm permission to see. But because I have permissions, I'm going to go ahead and look at her employment information, which is where we are indicating what type of PTO Emily is accruing. So you can see without leaving Employee Central Service Center, I've got access to that information. I can see that her PTO accrual account is wrong. So this is not updated. We um, somehow forgot about Emily when we were making this change. I can also take action as somebody who's permission to do this to go ahead and make that change for Emily right here. Sorry, I actually have to take some action. <clears throat> so I can make that change on her behalf. I want to move her um, time profile to the new time profile. You can see we still do have the history of the audit trail here, and I can save to take that action. I'm not going to save. This is a shared environment, um, so I'm not going to save because I know people have to work in this environment later this afternoon. So based on that, I could now close out the ticket and tell Emily, go, go back into the system and your PTO accruals should look just fine in there. Then the last thing that I wanted to end with so that I can leave some time for questions is I did want to show you um, the home page and some of the um, options that we have for reporting. I wanted to show you how easy it is for me to get at a glance information about my open tickets as well as tickets created this week, tickets created this month. All of you are familiar with SAP and SAP success factors. So these tiles are configurable as you know and, and you can really put forth any information that you're interested in seeing. As a manager in the organization, I'm also interested in looking at the ticket backlog for the people who are on my team to see how they're doing. And of course, all of this information is also reportable. So with that, I think I will conclude the demonstration and open this up to any questions that somebody might have. I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing my screen. Kelly, this is Debbie. We had one question come through that I wanted to put out there, <clears throat> and it was uh, the category of tickets. Is it possible to, we want to find out how the category of tickets is determined, and is it possible to group categories um, so they're passed to groups of agents? Any input on that? So it, it, it is possible. To, to group those categories, and there is workflow that can drive what agent sees what type of ticket or what category of ticket, and also even down to what type of employee. So for example, mm -hmm. if I've got our um, German HR service agents that are sitting in Germany, should we restrict them to seeing only tickets that are open by people in Germany but not anybody in France? And of course, we do have workflow that can be configured that can drive all of that. Right, right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do we have any other questions? Please. Oh, here comes another one. Deb has been very good about responding to people during the demo, but I'll let uh, Deb. Do you want to read the next question out to Kelly or answer it sure. yourself? Sure. Let me. Um, oh, okay, I was on one box. <laughs> I had to flip over to the other box. Okay. All right. Is there mobile? So the question uh, from Morgan is: There mobile capability for employees to submit tickets? And so the. Yeah, go ahead, Debbie, please. Yeah, yeah. The um, the mobile capability is on the future roadmap, so that is something that we are looking at uh, for uh, for development. Uh, today, that is uh, that's not available. Kelly, did you want to add anything? No, I've got nothing to add to that. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. And there, just to make a note, there have been several questions um, regarding, um, I think it's coming from our wonderful partners, 
so regarding implementation of EC Service Desk, and we will be getting back um, to the partners. We'll have a, we have a log of these questions with the update on the documentation for implementation. So we'll work with um, with our product management folks, and uh, as this uh, documentation becomes available, we'll give you an update on where and when that uh, that will be um, uh, available to you. Question. And then I more. see a question about can this be linked to Outlook to generate tickets? The answer mm -hmm. to that question is absolutely yes. Tickets can be generated by email. So as long as you send the email to the right email address, that would automatically generate a ticket. And we can also communicate back to the individual who raised the tickets through email and Outlook integration. And the next question is how new a product is Employee, uh, employee Central Service Center? And the uh, EC Service Center was released uh, into general availability uh, last year, so it's less than a year old. <clears throat> it's one of our, our newer offerings. And I think we have a follow-up question. Do we have a timeline for that? I'm assuming that this is a follow-up to the question about mobile. I'm not sure. Let me write back. came from, oh, this is regarding, I'm sorry, this is regarding an into partner rollout. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do not have timeline uh, information on partner rollout. That's something that we can follow up with you on. Do we have um, a count of how many companies are using this currently, Debbie or Andreas? I do not have that, um, and I don't, I don't know if Andreas, Andreas, are you on the line? But that's something we can follow up with as well. Yeah, we can certainly take that and follow mm -hmm. up. And then is there any certification provided on EC Service Center? And when is your next session? So I don't know that there is a certification track on Employee Central Service Center. Uh, just yet because it is a, a fairly new product. I would imagine that there's one coming. We can take that and, and get back to you with more information. And we don't have a date for the next session, but we are always happy to um, provide you with what you need. So if, if you need to request another session, that, that would be great. And we will always, always keep in contact with you to make sure that you know what upcoming webinars are, are scheduled. And the next question is around the workflow, or excuse me, the knowledge base, knowledge base documents. Um, where are the knowledge base documents stored or hosted? So I, I can take that one. Mm -hmm. So the, the knowledge base documents would be stored or hosted by a, a third party. So um, Employees Central Service Center is not necessarily a document repository. We do have a partnership with MindTouch, and we use, this, um, we use this tool internally here at SAP to manage our knowledge base. And we would recommend a third party solution like MindTouch because it does give you the ability to do things like um, check to see if somebody has actually read a document that, that we propose that they read. And it also uh, gives us the ability to, to have feedback on those documents so that we can make sure that what we're putting out there is actually useful to people. And does it care? Sorry, mm -hmm. go ahead, Debbie. Sure. Carolyn uh, Bradfield asked if there was workflow functionality, which we have talked about, but there was also a, a, a sub-question that was interesting, is can we create an additional ticket or task automatically from the initial ticket? And the answer to that is yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. And Jim has asked, can you have an auto response generated that acknowledge receipt of the new ticket? 
And the answer to that is also, yes, you can. Through, through workflow, you can. Mm -hmm. These are great questions, so if you have Very more, please questions. keep them coming. Yep, we are okay. Morgan, we'll be getting back to you on um, on how many companies are using Employee Central Service Center. And I don't have any more questions in the queue now. All right. Well, I want to thank you ladies for your time today in leading this demo, and I'd like to thank our audience for joining us today. Just to let you know, we have a couple of additional Employee Central demos coming up in May and June, one on table and one on global benefits, and we'd love to see you at one or both of these events. Uh, information will be coming up on those soon. Just a reminder that today's demo has been recorded, and we will be sending out a link to the replay in the next week. Again, thank you all for participating in today's session. Have a great day.